the French gimlet. It's sweet, busy and sour. It's just like your mum after you brought her a disappointing Mother's Day present. Now I promise you there's no hidden French agenda with this channel. It's just some that spring cocktails have quite French names. Okay, so starting with the ingredient lineups. The gin, I went for tankery number 10. I'd suggest going with something more punchier next time, but I'll cover this towards the end. And there's Saint Germain, which is an elderflower liqueur and fresh lime juice. Okay, let's kick this off with two ounces of 60 ml fresh gin. Then add one ounce, that's 30 ml of Saint Germain. Make sure you refrigerate this once it's opened or it'll look like a dehydrated person has taken the piss in the bottle. Add half an ounce, that's 15 ml of fresh lime juice. Add ice to your shaker and shake for 10 to 15 seconds. The history on this one is sparse, but it seems to be a variation of a traditional gimlet. Double strain into a chilled coupe glass. Garnish with a lime wedge, and this one looks down its luck. I'm definitely going to be treating myself to a new knife. Now taste wise this one's a disappointment, I'm not a massive fan. I think the gin is lost against the Saint Germain which is a bit overkill for my tastes. And likes how it fares up against the Plymouth Navy gin because it needs some strength to go with it and also I think the lime needs to be upped a little bit too. Give the subscribe button a good dry slap and most will enjoy and have a couple more and behave yourselves.